Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video to share what settings I use for running the rebuilt mod of Madden 25 on our PCS3. If you are currently playing the mod on PC using our PCS3, some of these settings may help you out, but it really depends on your PC's hardware. I would say give these a try if you're having any problems, so let's get into it. First, what you want to do is right click on the Man 25 game inside the RPCS3 game list. And go to change custom configuration. It's going to highlight the CPU tab first. What you want to do is just go ahead and have the recompiler LLVM selected for the first two categories, CPU decode and the SPU decode. Don't ask me what these mean or what these, you know, really cover. I don't know but through all of the tutorials that I've watched online, they all say to use these two settings if it's not already selected by default. Then you come over to SPU Accuracy. I use Approximate Float. You can choose Accurate or the last one there. But Approximate works best for me anyways. For this one here, I would stick with using safe. You can use mega and giga, but the safe one seems to be the best for most games. And then if it's not already by default, I would use uh, auto for this setting. Some people like to use, uh, or say to use two. I would stick with using auto, again, just for more compatibility with most games. For the audio, there's only two settings you want to look at under the buffering section. You'll want to check mark the first box in that section and drag this slider over to 150. And then if this one's not automatically selected already, check it. But don't do anything with the slider. It should be fine where it's at. What these do is it just kind of uh, helps with taking away some of the audio stuttering during gameplay for Madden 25, the rebuild mod. Most people experience this. It may not get rid of it entirely, but it makes it a lot less. You can skip a couple of these sections here. You don't really need to do anything with those. You come over to advanced and just take a look at the settings that I have here. I don't remember exactly if I changed anything from the default settings in this section or not, but just take a look, see what I have here, and just make it the same if you wanted to go ahead and use what I'm using. Then you can come over to the emulator tab. Most of this stuff here, over here in the, uh, the left section is just personal preference stuff. Things like um, loading the game in full screen mode, stuff like that. Uh, most of the stuff here I think is selected by default. The only thing that I did select was the loading the game in full screen mode. And then you can come over to debug. This is the last section. Really the only thing you wanna have check marked over here is this one here for CPU uh, IBLIT emulation. Everything else I think was default. You shouldn't have to do anything with any of the other ones. But that pretty much about does it. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, this is what's been working for me. 